A tireless advocate for the homeless, particularly veterans and families, Judge Harry Pregerson is a lifelong, dedicated humanitarian. The longest serving federal appellate judge in the United States was born in 1923 in Boyle Heights. In 1941, Harry was elected student body president at Roosevelt High School. While attending UCLA the next year, he was elected student body president yet again and joined the Naval ROTC. While serving in the Marines, Harry sustained severe gunshot wounds to both legs in 1945 during the Battle of Okinawa. He received the Purple Heart for his battlefield injuries. Following the war, Harry enrolled at the Bolt Hall School of Law at the University of California, Berkeley. Graduating in 1950, he practiced law in Van Nuys, where he and his wife, Byrne, a microbiology professor at Pierce College, raised their two children, U.S. District Judge Dean Pregerson and dermatologist Dr. Katie Rodan. In 1965, Governor Pat Brown appointed him to the Los Angeles Municipal Court and to the Superior Court the following year. President Jimmy Carter elevated him to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Well, to me, the most satisfying part of judging is the opportunity that it gives you to help people. One of Judge Pragerson's most important cases was the Century Freeway suit, claiming that thousands of homes to be demolished in the freeway's path should be replenished. He structured a consent decree that created thousands of affordable housing units for those displaced by the freeway. Judge Pregerson presided over another well-known case when he ordered the city of Los Angeles to stop dumping sewage sludge into Santa Monica Bay. Protecting the public's health, he ordered secondary treatment for all wastewater and was affectionately dubbed the Sludge Judge for his efforts to modernize the Hyperion treatment plant. The new plant, which helped revitalize marine life in the bay, was named one of the top 10 public works projects of the 20th century. In the mid-1980s, Harry approached the General Services Administration about turning government warehouse space in Bell, California into a homeless shelter. No one thought it would work other than Harry Pregerson, um, and he has turned that into a shelter that provides all kinds of transitional services and jobs and economic development. The business is happy being in Los Angeles, that people have jobs, and uh, the whole city will, will prosper. In 1992, Judge Pragerson mobilized veterans organizations, social service providers, and Century Housing to address the lack of transitional housing for homeless veterans. This collaboration resulted in the creation of the West Side Residence Hall and villages at Cabrillo. The judge would send, send, send the outreach team down to the freeways to pick up veterans. He'd call in the morning and tell me, Dwight, I got a veteran for you to pick up. I uh, want to make sure you go get him. He's off the 101 freeway. His name is Jim. Make sure Jim, you know, gets whatever he needs. Help that veteran. And also, Dwight, make sure he's a veteran. Another facility for homeless veterans, Westwood Transitional Village, was just a group of trailers until Harry Pragerson and the Salvation Army came along. He continues to work closely with these facilities, which provide shelter, treatment, training, and hope for thousands of homeless men, women, and children. He's independent, he's unusual, um, he is someone who is passionate and his hats demonstrate that. No matter where you see him, he's got that hat. I go to a place, if I don't wear a hat, nobody recognizes me. He's got that attitude, that smiling face, and that great laugh. <laughs> um, which is something that is contagious. Um, and helps when he's dealing with issues of veterans, when he's making decisions on the federal court, uh, but most of all, when he's helping people. I never thought that one person could make a difference, but I see that's, that's not the case. One person has made an enormous difference. Judge Pragerson's compassionate devotion to his fellow human beings, especially those who have served each of us and our country, makes Judge Harry Pragerson a noble star of the valley.